guys, General Turney here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to a brand new episode on the channel. So it's that time of the week again. We are about to get ourselves into some live war attacks. Now, I've already two-starred the number one player, guys, and they only one-starred me, so we're going to show you those replays. Then once they're done, we're going to get ourselves into a live attack. Now, we're either going to be attacking number two, or we're going to be attacking their Town Hall 11 number eight to clean up the, uh, the second and the third star. So stay tuned. We will be getting ourselves into a live attack very shortly. So just before we do, guys, I actually wanted to show you something which I did not know about the game. Though I'm not sure if loads of people actually know this, so let me just ask you a question. The Eagle Artillery at Town Hall 11 actually wakes up once, you have, uh, once you've actually placed down 150 places worth of troops. But it also includes spells, and I didn't know that, guys. I only just found out today from one of my clan mates that every time you place a spell, the Eagle Artillery gets closer to waking up. So let me know down below in that comment section, did you know that, guys? Did you know you can wake up the Eagle Artillery using spells? So check this out, guys. This was a pretty much 100% or close to 100% maxed out Town Hall 11. It looks pretty damn OP. And I decided to take this base on using one of the world famous attack strategies at Town Hall 11, which is a Queen Walk incorporated with bowlers and of course the Valkyries once the funnel has been created. So my plan was, let's just hit the play button guys, to actually take out that Archer Tower using two balloons. That kind of failed. And then my second stage was to take out this Archer Tower and draw out the Clan Castle using two balloons. So check that out guys, now we've dropped in four balloons and we've also used two haste spells, so the Eagle Artillery is a lot closer to waking up than I actually thought. So then we drop in the Queen to kill the CC, a couple of healers, a Baby Dragon to take out those buildings on the right, guys, and a Rage spell goes down with the Grand Warden. So at this point in the raid, I thought I had a lot of time left before I woke up the Eagle Artillery, but I didn't actually know that if I drop in just a couple more troops or spells, the eagle was gonna wake up. So I drop in a single Valkyrie to take out that elixir collector and it's awoken the beast, which is the eagle artillery. So let me just pause it here guys, because at this point in the raid, I was thinking I am in so much trouble. Now, luckily I ended up two starring the base, but that was just kind of a bit of luck. You're gonna see in a minute. My choice here was unbelievable. I had the choice. The, uh, the baby dragon actually got killed first, but then I had the choice. Do I save the archer queen with the grand warden and use the warden's ability? Or do I sacrifice the Archer Queen and uh, save the Grand Warden for the rest of my army? Well, check this out, guys. The Queen is about to get crucified. We actually end up using my Grand Warden's ability in a couple of seconds just to make sure that that Queen manages to stay alive, guys. So the Queen's ability and the Grand Warden's ability used at the exact same moment. Then we begin by taking out the rest of the buildings on the left-hand side. The right-hand side has already been funneled. Left-hand side... No Grand Warden's ability, meaning all my bowlers died from a double giant big bomb. Jump spell to get that golem to go into the core, guys. The Barbarian King takes out the rest of the buildings. And I have four heroic Valkyries, which luckily ended up jumping into the core because I made the funnel. Take out the first Inferno Tower, guys. Take out the Town Hall. And we got ourselves that second star. So I'm not going to lie to you. It was quite a lucky raid. So as I said guys, let me know down below in that comment section, did you know that you can wake up the Eagle Artillery using spells? It is mind blowing that I've been playing this game for years since Town Hall 11 was released and I didn't even know that. So uh, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's just one of those things guys, you play every day and you learn something new. By the way, make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're new guys, my name's General Tony. We post videos every day and uh, hopefully some of you guys enjoy them and find them useful. So the Queen goes down, game over. We're about to get ourselves into a live attack, guys. And by the way, who actually enjoys war videos? Who likes seeing me attack live in war? If you actually like these episodes, guys, and you want me to make maybe two a week instead of one, because right now we only do one war episode a week. Every weekend we do one. But if you want me to make two, leave a like on the video, guys. If we get 10,000 likes on this episode, I will be more than happy to make two live war videos every single week. Okay, so check this out, guys. We've currently got an army cooking. Now, I was scouting the bases, and I asked the leader of the clan, Lou, who I believe is actually currently live-streaming, guys. Shout out to Lewis the Pen. Make sure you check his channel out. I'm going to leave a link in, uh, to his channel in the description. He's actually just hit 5k subs, guys. But I asked him, and he's told me to attack number 8. He's the leader, and uh, i got to listen to him. Otherwise, he's going to kick me out the clan, guys. No, I'm only joking. He wouldn't really. But check this out. Number 8 
It's a strange one. It's a Tannel 10.5 with a Grand Warden. It's just not got an Eagle Artillery, but it's got level 45 heroes. So you look at the base, guys, and you think it looks scary, but without the Eagle Artillery, it doesn't look as scary. I think it's got one less Expo as well. And I'm hoping I can actually pick up a 3-star here, so my plan is pretty simple. Let me show you the actual army we're using, guys. So if I just go train and uh, gem up the army and the spells, heroes are ready as well. Nope, we need the Grand Warden. Where are you at, boy? Here we go, guys. Grand Warden locked and loaded. So check this out. If we click the army, we got three healers, three baby dragons, three witches, and 22 bowlers. It's a pretty simple army. Three rage spells, two jumps, a poison, extra rage, golem giant, and the three heroes, guys. So the plan is as follows. It's quite simple, but I'm not going to lie. I am kind of nervous, guys. So if we go and hit the scout button, check this out. Two level three Inferno Towers, the clan castles on the other side. I believe when I watched the replay, guys, it's got a bowl, uh, sorry, a Valkyrie, a baby dragon, and a witch inside of it. So not too bad. So my plan is as follows. Dropping a baby dragon to take out these two buildings. Dropping a super queen walk to take out all these buildings. All the way down to this elixir collector. Then jump spell is going to go in on the wizard tower and the gold storage. Second jump spell in on the town hall. And we're going to use the witches and the bowlers to take out all the buildings on this side over here. So it sounds like a good plan. Is it going to work? I don't really know, guys. I just realized I've got to do one thing. Delete one baby dragon and bring two giants to protect my witches. So we're ready. Let's do this, guys. Live attack about to commence. Leave a like on the episode to wish me good luck. Hashtag good luck, Tony. Let's do this, guys. Live attack on number eight. Here we go. Nightman Comet. Cool name. Oh, yeah. And by the way, then we'll check out the replay on my base after. So let's do this, guys. Here we go. So this is, of course, the point in the raid where I, I get really scared, guys. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. I do get nervous, guys. I've been playing this game for so many years, but it still scares me. It's just never going to not scare me. It literally always scares me, guys. But here we go. Let's just, uh, you know, I'll try my best, kind of see what happens. Going to use a rage spell really early. I always end up using rage spells too late, guys, and my queen dies. So um, let's hope that she's not going to die. Here we go. Going to drop in this jump spell nice and early gonna go in with the uh, let me just leave the queen on her own for a second guys don't die queen don't die here we go guys here we go there go my heroes no one's spectating and that's awesome because i don't like it when people watch me guys but we're gonna drop down this second jump spell just ahead there goes a rage spell and it looks like it's been a great funnel okay so let's go let's rock and roll here we go here we go when do i use the poison let's drop down the poison Let's activate the Grand Warden's ability now. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, guys. Oh, just in time. Saved myself from those uh, those giant big bombs, guys. We've still got loads of heroes' abilities to use. It's looking it's looking good. There goes the Barbarian King's ability, guys. Let's keep these bowlers moving. Rampaging through the base. The final rage spell goes down. Still got plenty of troops left alive. And it looks like it has been a successful, torturous raid. This base has been demolished. And that's why, guys, they call me Tony the Slayer. No, I'm only joking. They don't really, guys. But check it out. we still got the Queen's ability to use. I'm not going to lie. I've got my adrenaline pumping right now. I've demolished this base. I know it was only a Town Hall. Kind of... It was. It's kind of a Town Hall 10.5, but it does have a Grand Warden at level 20. So I don't know what you call it. But let's call it Town Hall 10.5, guys. I was bullying the smaller base. There goes the Queen's ability. 98%, guys. A couple of... Well, single Archer Tower trying to survive. But it's game over. Perfect triple star in the bag, and that's what I call a victory. So that makes a change, guys, because usually when I do live attacks, I get absolutely destroyed. But I'm, I'm happy with that. Two star and a three star, five star, lost war. It didn't go too well, guys. But let's go ahead and check out the replay on my base. So check this out, guys. Let's see. Alex Jr. decided to attack my base. Now, I will tell you straight up. The thing with his base is, if they attack from the bottom here... They're not even going to get a one star, literally. I've, I've put all the traps, all the mines, everything on this side of the base. But for some reason, everyone keeps attacking from the top of the side. So I think I'm going to have to just delete this base, guys. It doesn't work. No one attacks from the bottom. I'm either going to have to delete the base or I'm going to have to move all the traps. So let's see where this dude attacked from, guys. Alex Jr. from Garrett's Clan. Shout out to Garrett's Clan. I do think we've got this war in the bag, guys. But here we go. So we got to Queen Walk. It's a level 45 one, guys. He's got pretty much a maxed out, well, yeah, an entire maxed out army. This dude is rocking a maxed out Town Hall 11 army, guys. Hero spells, troops, not a single thing isn't maxed out. He's got that queen, level 45, 
making a beautiful funnel and it looks like she's gonna go to the left guys is she gonna die is he gonna lose a queen nope he drops in a rage spell just in time and there goes the grand warden statue guys okay so here we go moving in with the rest of the funnel now i'm guessing he's trying to get a jump spell in on that clan castle so he can jump over and take out the town hall now the strange thing is he's avoiding the eagle artillery completely which isn't a great move, guys. So let's just go double speed here. He's going to be stuck on this um, this Lava Hound for a guessing, uh, second, I'm guessing. There we go. Lava pops go down, and he can carry on with the rest of the raid. That minion is huge. Look how big it is under the rage spell, guys. But here we go. So Queen's going to swing in. And I've actually already watched this replay, and this is where it gets really sad for him. He's about to lose all his healers to this air defense because his Queen doesn't take out the air defense, guys. This is brutal. Check this out. He's literally going to lose, like, I think maybe every single one of them. Let's just see what happens. The queen's already dead because she didn't have enough healers healing her. Grand Warden's about to die. He's already used his aura. And then the healers, yeah, they get wrecked, guys. And now he just kind of spams in the rest of the army. I'm guessing Alex kind of gave up. And uh, I feel bad for him, but that's the way it goes, guys. Sometimes it happens to me. So check it out. His bolus, his barbarian king, everything else comes into the base. Jump spell goes in. It does take two jumps if you want to get troops into the actual core, guys. But, of course, he's got bowlers, so they don't need a second jump spell. But there we go. The rest of the army kind of just melts, and uh, it's game over for Alex. So, as I said, guys, we're going to win this episode here. If you do love these, uh, you know, these war episodes, because I'm not going to lie to you, I love filming them when it's not against the clan, which is too serious. Otherwise, I get really nervous, guys. But, you know, when it's against, you know, a fun clan or a clan which is on the same level as us, I don't mind. It's fun. If I lose, I'll lose. So uh, leave a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next episode. Let me know as well, guys, who's watching McGregor against Mayweather. Have a great evening. Peace out.